all right yeah welcome to this video in this video today i want to show you how to use the canva ball create feature to create multiple design on your canva by yourself now in this video i'm, I'm going to be showing you two different methods to achieve this the first method is to use the bulk create feature to create multiple design with text only right now if you want to add images to your bulk design i'll be showing you the second method on how to add images to your bulk design now before i proceed to this tutorial today if you are watching my channel for the very first time my name is olale computer and this is my youtube channel and on this channel i speak on digital marketing website design affiliate marketing and how to make money online so i do my own due diligence online before i create any video so that you can achieve all these things by yourself now if this is your first time watching my video you can go ahead to click on the subscribe button right now and also turn on the bell notification so that you don't miss out on my next content because i'll be posting more content that are more valuable like this on this channel on the get go now once you are done subscribing you can also share this video right now if you find it very interesting and also drop your comment below if you have been using canva or create or this is your first time hearing about bulk create on canva now i'm going to go back to my uh, browser right now the first thing i want to do is to use a um, bad ai to create our content right we are going to need a content to create our bulk design so we go to bad ai and we are going to ask bad ai to give us multiple content basically you can use a bulk create on canva to create a content calendar for yourself as a business owner or even use this as a content creator to make money online all right so i'm going to go, go over to bad ai right now i'm going to type in my prompt for it to generate a 30 day content for me so i'm going to type in generate 30 posts right related to email marketing in a table all right so i'm going to generate 30 quotes related to email marketing in a table so you tap on submit you click on submit and wait for some minutes for bad ai to generate your content now we have um our quote right here these are 30 different quotes on email marketing all right now the next thing we want to do right now you know we have a there we have the quote and we have the source right here so now the first method i want to show you in this video because i'm still going to show you the second method but the first thing i want to show you is to create your book design with text only all right we want to use only text all right so now we have our content right now the next thing we want to do right now is to go over to google sheet and uh, copy this quote and paste it on google sheet before we take it to canva so we're going to copy this one right now we can copy everything so let's copy everything and go over to google sheet so now we are on google sheet right now this is our fresh document what we're going to do right now is come over to bad ai you copy this content once you copy everything you are going to paste you don't need to create any header or anything you don't need to create any tattoo just take your cursor and place it on the first cell and you paste the content so you paste the content then you're going to space it you're going to space it or you may not space it as well so you don't need to worry about spacing but what you want to do right now is to remove all this quotation mark if we don't want to we don't want to do that manually because it's going to take a lot of time so you are going to come over to bad ai and tell bad ai to remove the quotation mark on the quotes right so we are going to say right now remove the quotation mark from the quotes above all right so you click on submit and it's going to remove the quotation mark and regenerate the content for you so you can see right now it has removed the quotation mark very very simple and very fast so you're going to copy again you click on copy right now and you come over to your spreadsheet you place your cursor on the first cell and you paste your new uh, answer you can see right now the quotation mark has been removed so we are done generating our content and we have done our arrangement on the google sheet the next thing you want to do right now is to type to your your sheet you're going to put this one as email marketing quotes so once you are done type uh, once you are done adding title to your google sheet the next thing you want to do right now is to download this document the only thing we need right now is to download as comma separated values right we download as csv file so that is the only file that we are going to use on canva to create our book design so once you are done with that you click on comma separated value so you're going to download this document right now so you save it so once you are done saving the next thing you want to do right now we're going to open a new tab and we're going to go over to canva all right so you click on canva we want to create our book design right now with text only so as i said earlier 
I will, I will be showing you the first method on how to create bulk design using text only. And the second method is how you can create a bulk design with images. I'm going to show you everything in this video right now. Once we are on Canva, you can come over here and search for quotes. So you search for code and you're going to select any template that best fit what you want to do. You can select any of the template. If you don't like anyone that is currently here, you can just click on see all to see multiple design you can easily pick from, right? So I'm going to select the best that works for you, depending on what you are currently working on. But right now, I'm just going to, I'm just going to pick anyone because this is a video tutorial. I'm going to select anyone right now and go ahead with this tutorial or this design. So you can see multiple design right here. We see multiple design, but you're going to go over to select anyone you like. We're not going to select anyone with image right now because we are still working on the one that work with text only. So I'm going to select the one that has only text. You can select any of this one. So I'm going to click on this one right now and uh, generate our content. So you are going to click on customize this template right now and it's going to take us to our template, right? So this is where we're going to do all the magic on how to use text only to bulk create design on Canva. So now we are here on our design. We can see this is the first design. You can see our design and you can see right now we only have a page. But what we want to do right now, we want to create 30 different designs from this single page. All of them looking the same, you know. If you want to change the color, you can just click on the background. You, change, you click on here to change the color to any color you want. And right here you can change this, this color as well to any color you want based on your own preference. So, but we want to go ahead to the bulk create option right now. The next thing we want to do right now is to go over to, to the apps. You can come over to apps. But I currently have um, my own bulk create right here on my sidebar. But if you are yet to use your own, you're going to, you are going to come over to apps and you're going to see it over here. If you can't find it here, you can search for it right here. You can just type in bulk create and you're going to see the app. But now I'm going to click on um, bulk create. And the next thing we want to do right now is to upload our CSV file. You know, I told you earlier that you must download the document as a CSV file and not as any other document. So once you click on upload CSV file, you're going to select your file and you click on open, which is going to show you all the information that you generated, the first field and the second field. We only have two fields right now on the document. We have the first field, which is the quote, and the second field, which is the source. And right here, we only have two different elements we are going to work with. We're going to work with this one and this element right here. But you, depending on what you are doing, you can change the color of anything right here, including the color of this text. So we're going to click on this one right now. And the next thing we want to do right now is to connect our data with our element on this design. So we're going to select this one. This is where our quote is going to be placed. And this is where the source is going to be. So you are going to select this one right now. You click, you click on it and you left click. Then you come over to connect data. All right. So you want to connect this one to the quote. All right. That is the first data on the on the document. So you select this one, you connect it to this code. So every of this code is going to be posted right here. And here you select it also, and you left click on it, you connect data to the source. Now, once you are done with that, the next thing you want to do is to come over to continue. And you're going to see all your information as you have seen right here. You're going to see it. Canva is going to show you everything right here you can you can even scroll to the left hand side and see all of this information right now if you want to remove anyone you can just unselect it it's going to remove it it is not going to add it on your design so i'm going to add it back then i'm going to come over here to generate the number of pages so you click on generate all pages so we're going to wait right now for Canva to generate our pages so as you can see right now we have a uh, our design and you can see we have over 26 pages right now so as you can see you can scroll down to see all of this code so we have succeeded in creating our box design using the only text and uh, method right so this is only for text you want to create a box design with only text but what if you want to add an image to your design like let's say you are designing a business card that has an image on it so how do you achieve that so that is the second thing i want to show you in this video right now but i'm going to mention this once again if this is your first time visiting my youtube channel 
My name is Olali Kompita and I speak only on anything that has to do with digital marketing. And if you find this video very helpful right now, you can go ahead to the comment section right now and type Canva Bug Create. Now, this will help YouTube to recommend this video to other people who are looking for a solution like this. Now, if you have not subscribed to this channel, you can go ahead to click on the subscribe button right now and turn on the bell notification because I don't want you to miss out on my next content and I'll, as I'll be dropping more valuable content like this on this YouTube channel. Now, I'm going to take you over to Canva again right now. Now, we're going to select our template that has an image because what we want to work with right now is how to create a bug design using and um, with image and text all right we are going to be using image and text at the same time so we are going to go over for this design but if you like another design that has an image like that you can select that as well but i'm going to work with this right now we select this one i will click on customize design so we're going to customize the design and i'm going to show you how you can create your bug design using this method right now now we have our design with image we have the quotes this is where this the quote is going to be and this is where the source is going to be and this is our image so i'm going to show you how you can add your image to all of your designs so what you want to do right now is to come over to bug create once again you come over to bug create and you are going to come over here to enter data manually so don't worry it's going to be as fast as possible so the next thing you want to do right now is to come over here you're going to copy your design i'm just going to copy at least 10 so let's work with 10 right now so we copy this you can work with 30 you can work with 50 depending on what you are doing but because this is a video this is a tutorial video i don't want it to be longer so i'm going to copy just um let me just copy five of them right now so once you select it you copy the the, the information so i'm going to come over here to your design i you select this and you click on paste you're going to paste the design you can see the design right now you can see we have all our information right here so the next thing you want to add right now i'm going to delete this the next thing you want to add is to add image right so we come over here you remove this row delete column so we have our image right here so the next thing you want to add right now is to add our image to this design all right so we want to add our image to this particular column so you click on this plus button you can if you have an image already uploaded on your camera you just select it Select it and you are good to go. You come over here, you select your image and you are good to go. So you just add your image, you continue adding the image until you are done it to the last quote, all right, to the last information. So I'm done adding my image. I have already uploaded, I have already pasted the information needed and this is the image I want to use for this design. But if you want to remove the image, you can just select it again and then go over to select your image. Now, once you are done with that, the next thing you want to do right now is to click on done. So if you want to add any image on your design using this method, the image must have been uploaded on your Canva account, right? So if you don't have it on your Canva account, make sure you upload it before you come over here because there's no option yet to upload directly from your computer. So once you are done uploading the images, you enter your data, then you come over here and click done. So this is the information, right? We have three data fields right here. The first one is the name, the second one is for the second data, and the last one is the image, all right? Don't worry about this name and email. So what we want to do right now is to connect our data to this information right here. We want to connect our data to all these elements. So I'm going to select this one for image. So I'm going to right click, uh, left click on it, and you're going to click on connect data. You select image, all right? You select another, this next element, which is the quote. You right and uh, left click on it, and you select connect data you're going to connect it with this data right here which is name then you're going to come over here once again left click on it and you click on connect data you select the last information that is the last field so once you are done selecting all this information you click on continue it is going to show you all the information you currently have in that document so i currently have five different quotes with my image on them so once you are done you can remove any one of them if you wish to then you're going to click on create five pages so you click on create five pages and wait for canva to generate all these pages for you now you see right now we have our design with our own image with the quotes that we generated from bad ai and with this information right and now we have five different design with our image and quotes all at once using bug create option on canva 
So this is how you can use bulk create on Canva and use it to create multiple design. Either you want to use only text or you want to work with images as well. So that will be the end of the video for today. If you like this video right now and you find this video very helpful, don't forget to drop your comment and share this video with your friends out there. And if you are yet to subscribe, you can go ahead to click the subscribe button because I'll be posting more valuable content on this YouTube channel and I don't want you to miss out. Click the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification as well. I will see you in the next video.